Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, this is your reading for the month of October and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Taurus, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in the description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay, if you are interested in personal readings with me, the details of the same are in the description box and comment section. So let's get started now. Taurus, let's see what you need to know. We have Seven of Cups, which has already jumped out. Ten of Cups, Lovers, interesting. And then we have Eight of Pentacles. Wow. As far as your love life is concerned, we have King of Wands, then we have Page of Wands, we have Justice, and then we have King of Pentacles. We have two kings over here. Interesting. So you might be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, very strong presence of air sign over here. You might be dealing with a Capricorn, with a Leo, uh, probably another Taurus, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, Virgo for some of you, Cancer. Hmm. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. This is your energy spread and this is your love spread king of wands page of wands justice and king of pentacles You might be seeing a lot of 11, 11, triple one. You might be seeing a lot of 2, 2, 2 as well. 22, 22, 2, 2, 2. So, Taurus, what you need to know for the month of October, we have 7 of Cups, 10 of Cups, the Lovers, and we have 8 of Pentacles. Hmm. I think so, uh, Taurus. There are certain desires probably related to your past and you have very, these are very strong desires. You want it to be fulfilled. And it, it is not just one single des desire. I, I kind of feel like these are some multiple desires. You are seeking emotional fulfillment in multiple areas. Okay. And somehow, uh, at least some of those desires are kind of related to the past. I'll, I'll try and throw some more light on this. Uh, maybe for some of you. You want your ex to come back and apologize to you. It's not necessary that you want to reconcile with that person, but you want to hear an apology, okay? For what, whatever reason, like you you probably felt like you have done a lot for that person and that person should have some realization like uh, you have done a lot and their life kind of changed or their life was kind of better because of you. So you at least deserve an apology. Uh, for the good things that you have done to them and the good things that you have done to the relationship you had with that person So maybe for some of you you want that apology Okay, consciously subconsciously you're seeking apology from your past person For some of you I'm also hearing Taurus maybe 
there is a desire to reconnect with some of your friends okay you have distanced yourself from those people uh from your friends maybe they were not good to you they betrayed you or they did something wrong to you but at one point of time you had some really good relations uh, relationships with with those people with your friends okay uh whatever they did ultimately impacted your relationship with that person with that friend uh whatever they did might be a betrayal they did some backstabbing broke down breakdown of the trust and etc you decided to leave that friend you decided to uh, remove that friend from your life but given the fact that you had some strong ties with that person once upon a time i think so you simply want that person to come back and you want to know about their whereabouts and how they are doing or maybe you also want to hear an apology from this friend of yours if this is not about friends and if you had some strained strained relationships with someone like some of your family members maybe you are in the mood to reconcile the relationship with with your family members okay uh so that's what i'm getting for some of you you have these desires related to certain past events from your life and other desires i kind of feel like you want to experience emotional fulfillment especially in matters of love you're like i know i deserve love i know my ruling planet is venus okay venus is all about love romance luxury comfort you want to experience comfort you want to experience stability emotional stability and one of the biggest factors that can contribute towards your emotional stability is a stable love relationship i think so taurus probably you have lost some near and dear one in the recent past okay uh maybe a parent maybe someone who was very close to you uh, you might have lost that person in last couple of months weeks days or couple of years in the re- last couple of years recent past years and somehow there is a void in your life okay because of the passing away of that person and you are constantly looking to fill up that void okay uh and one of the ways you know for sure that how you can fill up that void is by welcoming a romantic partner in your life okay maybe whoever passed away you had a very strong bond with that person okay and uh, uh, there was to a certain extent maybe there was emotional codependency on that person to a certain extent not to a large extent and somehow because of the absence of that person the emotional void that you are experiencing for some time you are thinking that of course you need love everyone needs love everyone needs a romantic partner in their life and you're also thinking like probably by welcoming a romantic partner the emotional void that you're experiencing that void will get filled up okay so that is also why i see that another strong desire of yours is to welcome a new person in your life a new romantic partner maybe so far you were not ready maybe so far you were holding yourself back from love maybe you were trying to heal yourself maybe you were trying to spend some time with yourself maybe you were trying to uh, show some self love okay uh, uh, pamper yourself uh, and all that stuff but now you're feeling like enough of isolation enough of spending time with myself enough of spending time alone i need someone and i'm going to manifest someone i think so you have already started manifesting a romantic partner in your life taurus because there is a very strong indication that you're seeking love you are seeking love and you're seeking love from the very bottom of your heart okay and that is the primary reason we have seven of cups 10 of cups and lovers this spread is showing that there is a very strong possibility of emotional fulfillment happening 
and this emotional fulfillment is happening because of the fact that you're manifesting that emotional fulfillment and you're manifesting how you're manifesting emotional fulfillment by manifesting a romantic partner manifesting a uh, manifesting the love of your life okay see emotional fulfillment here yeah, when when we usually speak about emotional fulfillment the first thing that comes to our mind is a romantic partner can full can give us that emotional fulfillment but of course having other relationships also gives us that fulfillment like friendships uh, well, having a deep bond with our family members with our siblings that also kind of gives us that required emotional fulfillment but what I see is like when it comes to you you are particularly looking out for love and maybe primarily because you want to fill up that void that you're experiencing for last so many days weeks months or years okay and you are seeking you are seeking love your soul is seeking love that is because of seven of cups so many options are being sent towards you Taurus these options are coming towards you because you are manifesting those options you're like I want love and give me some options I'll pick and choose Another reason why so many options are coming towards you is probably in the past you were holding yourself back from love, but now you have opened up to the possibility of love. So what was supposed to come towards you in the past, everything is coming towards you now. Okay, you have multiple options in front of you, your platter will be full, you will be the one who will have to pick and choose the person for yourself. Seven, uh, eight of pentacles is telling me that your relationship with money is improving okay maybe in the past Taurus you felt like you're working hard you're slogging but still the kind of money that you are trying to manifest that that money never came to you and the primary reason why that money did not come towards you was because your relationship was complicated with money okay your relationship was not good maybe maybe there was some karma that was attached to uh, when it comes to matters of money and finances maybe there was some karma that was attached but now that's that's gone because why i'm saying that your relationship with money is improving maybe in the past you were putting 100 percent but what you got back was hardly five ten percent but now if you are putting 100 percent you are getting at least 100 percent or two percent 200 percent okay so there is a direct proportion proportional relationship between your efforts and the money that is coming towards you you put 50 percent you're going to get at least 50 percent you put 100 percent you're going to get at least 100 percent or even more than that but at least now the satisfaction levels would improve i mean if you see this card this person is putting in the efforts and the pentacles are simply growing okay the pentacles are growing they're rising up right so you put in the efforts yes the putting in the efforts is definitely required you put in the efforts money will flow in you don't have to worry about it right so let's talk more about your love life and let's see if we get any general messages also because uh, your energy spoke a lot about the uh, about your love life as well okay your energy for the month of october is kind of focused around your love life this energy is also kind of getting spilled over for the next months okay king of wands page of wands justice and king of pentacles there is quite a strong possibility yeah huh, taurus that you might be seeing t twin numbers 22 22 11 11 uh First and foremost, I think so, uh, not only from perspective of romance, but otherwise also, uh, you're very likely to come across some very powerful people in your life. So when I say powerful people, what do I mean over here is, uh, powerful can be in, in, in any context. Uh, 
power power because of powerful because of affluent monetary status powerful because of holding some a uh, very strong dignified position very powerful position like probably a uh, a politician or maybe a very strong powerful position in the corporate world like md ceo of a very uh, strong powerful company i think so either through your profession either through your career or if you're lucky enough just like that randomly uh you are about to come across you are going to meet some powerful people in your life and it's likely that these people will become a part of your life they will stay in your life probably as a guide as a mentor probably as a um, as a guide as a mentor or for some of you they can also be your romantic partner a prospective romantic partner or these people are come crossing paths with you taurus probably because they are also a part of your soul tribe okay so see everything happens for a reason there is there is there are no coincidences i mean we do feel like these are coincidences but whatever happens with us is certainly orchestrated by the universe it's a part of uh, it's a part of the divine plan okay so uh, first and foremost i certainly see that you are going to meet some powerful people in your life uh, the advice over here would be once you develop a relationship with them nurture that relationship maintain that relationship because that will prove extremely fruitful from long term perspective like extremely extremely fruitful okay i'm not asking you to be opportunist but see at the end of the day we are social animal and our growth also depends upon the kind of people we hang out with and our surroundings our our uh, the surrounding environment okay the more inspirational environment it is the more uh, if we hang out and if we are constantly in touch with successful people we kind of absorb that energy within us and we also kind of tend to inspire ourselves to do better for ourselves right so that's what i see over here there is a very strong possibility that next 10 years down the line you probably might become one of them or you probably will find yourself growing spiritually yeah some of you might also meet some spiritually powerful people okay like mungs and maybe you might make them your guru or something like that so what i see over here is you there is a very strong desire to uh, uh to awaken some sort of growth within you okay personal growth professional gro- growth whatever it is it will differ from person to person accordingly you're going to meet these people for some of you maybe you're seeking some personal growth so maybe uh you're going to meet some spiritual uh, uh top notch people from the spiritual world for some of you you want to improve your physic okay maybe you're going to meet some top notch people in the in the health fra- uh, in the health uh, frat uh, from the health fraternity okay for some of you from your field industry whatever it is you you are you want to grow in your field maybe you're going to meet some top uh, top notch people from there okay so for some of you for sure you are you're manifesting a powerful person as your romantic partner okay now again like i said the definition of powerful is very subjective it it kind of differs from person to person um justice card is telling me that whoever you are manifesting in your life as a romantic partner this person will be very very protective about you and they are a spiritually awakened soul they will kind of realize that you are a you are special you are unique 
and maybe you haven't tapped onto your true potential or you don't know who you really are and that is why you need to be protected maybe the world knows but you are not aware of your own talent and skills and capabilities but this romantic partner will be someone who will recognize you for who you are okay or they will simply uh, they will be like you are such a pure soul and purity is very rare in today's world and they will be like i need to protect taurus come come what may because we need people like taurus we need pure souls like taurus and i need to protect so this next romantic partner of yours they will kind of realize that you are very special and unique and you need some uh, some divine protection and let me contribute towards that okay so i also kind of uh, one thing is for sure like they will try to bring a lot of happiness in your life taurus okay they will be like you are the child of planet venus you deserve comfort you deserve good sta a good uh, uh, amazing standard of living and you deserve love and everything okay and let me be that person who can bring that smile on your face okay so this person will be genuinely interested in giving you that happiness giving you everything that you really deserve okay so this person will strive to make you happy and they will be like they know that the relationship will be really good once they put in their efforts and they 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 keep you happy in this uh, in this connection once they play their role very well okay so what i see over here is this person will be 100% invested in this connection taurus they will they will certainly not lack anywhere at the same time i also see like this person is going to be very busy very busy so you might slightly complain about the fact that uh, not not at the beginning of the relationship but certainly at the later stages of a relationship that this person is way too busy and devoting very less time to you okay but understand from their perspective this person has some purpose on on uh, on this planet earth and they are busy to fulfill that purpose okay they are trying to fulfill that purpose and that's why they are going to be busy maybe you can join them to fulfill that purpose maybe uh, you are entering in their life because your the purpose for both of you is more or less the same okay this money uh, this this person is good with the money they are they are having some good money travel is something that's going to happen pretty frequently uh it is also very likely that you will keep on moving places from one place to another like you'll stay at one place or one country for 4 5 years then you'll move on to another place another country you'll stay there for another 4 5 years and then you'll keep on hopping that's what i'm getting okay because uh, maybe both of you are kind of sensitive to energies okay and staying at one place you both of you might feel saturated okay so you probably momentum from one place to another is an attempt to break away from the saturation that you might experience saturation of the energy that you might experience okay so moving from places to places is also very likely even as of now you might feel like i need to move away somewhere else because i feel like too much of energy has been saturated around me okay so change is something that you are manifesting in your life along with along with love and emotional stability so you have you are manifesting someone very stable yet extremely passionate about you someone who is going to be very protective about you someone who is going to give you tremendous amount of happiness so get ready for that all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time if you're interested in personal readings with me the details of the same are in description box and comment section take care and bye bye